Hey guys, welcome back. So I guess you could say this is Model One's week. <laughs> they also sent me this gorgeous set of gel polishes. So it has 16 gel colors in the set, as well as the base and gel top coat. So literally everything you need in just this one box to do multiple gel polish manis. So the first color here is called Ice Bar. It is the only glitter in this set. The next one here is First Love, which is a really pretty light pink. This one is more of a peachy color. This is classical. The next color, this really, really pretty like rose pink is Strawberry Ice Cream. Aside from a couple of them, the bottles are pretty spot on to the colors that turned up on my swatches after just two coats. The next one here is Lavishly Loved, which is a, another really nice pink. The next one here is Poetry. This is one of the colors I'm gonna use to create my Manny that you will see here in just a couple minutes. And then the next one is Pretty Girl. This is the only sheer gel in this kit, which I think is actually really, really pretty. It's a really pretty sheer almost like a jelly color and y'all know how I feel about a good jelly gel this one here is Bing cherries I love this red it's a perfect fall shade of red really 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 pretty the next one you know this bottom row is like all my jam <laughs> this one is Mirandy gray which I'm gonna use that one the next one is dancing Cinderella I'm going to use that one. <laughs> this one is a deeper gray. This one here is afternoon tea. And I'm going to use this one. <laughs> I'm going to use four colors for this Manny. The next one here is a light, like a milk chocolate called chocolate. Very, very, very pretty. It's a little bit more brown than what it's showing up on camera, but it's a really really pretty nude if you have a darker skin tone that's going to be a really good nude color for you the next one here is dreamy summer it is a gorgeous sky baby blue shade after that we have this pastel purple called taro milk i love this set there's literally colors in here for everybody if you like nudes, there's nudes, there's sheer, there's some grays. You could do a gradient. This one here is Quiet Lake. Even I can do this one. It's got more of a blue than a green to it. And then lastly, this is Gabe's favorite color, the Green Apple Paradise. It's a really, really pretty green, which I never thought I'd say that. <laughs> I think I'd even be able to wear that green. It's usually those deep, like, foresty greens that my skin tone doesn't agree with. So I went ahead, I picked out four of these 16 colors, and I'm going to go ahead and apply a thin coat of the gel base to all of my nails. If you wanted to add a little bit more strength to your nails, you could go ahead and do a dip or two of clear first and activate, file, all that good stuff, and then go ahead and do your gel polish manis. This is actually a good idea if you don't want to soak in acetone. So if you do a gel mani, you could just file off the color and then fill in your clear dip underneath. But I'm just going to apply a thin layer of this gel base to all of my nails and then I'm going to cure for 30 seconds. I am gonna do a little cleanup around my cuticles if I get any gel on my skin which you do want to make sure you get that off before you put your hand into your lamp. So I will let you guys watch and I'll be right back.
All right, so my gel base is applied and cured. And now I'm going to get started on my gel colors here. This color I'm gonna start with is Dancing Cinderella. Y'all know I'm gonna use all these grays. <laughs> and then I decided on poetry just to kind of break it up a little bit and add a little bit more color. But y'all know I love grays. Love them, love them, love them. And these were super easy to apply. They weren't too thick, they weren't too thin. They applied really smooth and even. They self-leveled really beautifully. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that color on my pinky. I'm gonna do poetry on my ring finger. And then the darker gray, the afternoon tea, I'm gonna do on my middle and my thumb. And then my index, I'm gonna do the lightest shade of gray, which was that Mirandi gray, I believe it was called. So I'm just going to get that applied. All of the brushes are the same. They have that nice curved edge, so it fits in to your cuticle area really, really nicely. Um, I like to do thin coats of the gel. I don't like to do super thick because then you risk it running into your cuticles, especially if you have either built an apex on your nail or you have a natural apex to your nail like I do then down by my sidewalls it slopes a little bit more so if i do if i do a thicker layer of gel it's going to run into my sidewalls on top of that gel honestly it wants to be applied in thin layers it cures better that way just my experience but i am not a nail tech i'm just a diyer like most of you so that is the first two colors. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys watch and I'll be right back. So I just wanted to pop back in here real quick. I'm doing that Mirandi gray on my index finger, which is a lighter color. So it's not gonna be full coverage in just one coat. Um, but I just wanted to let you guys know, I like to do my first four nails and give it a flash cure for about 15 seconds. That way I can do my thumb and put my thumb straight in my lamp and keep it nice and upright. Um, because I've had situations where I'll do either gel mani or gel top coat and I'll do all my nails and put it in my lamp. And when I pull it out, I have a little bit of 
gel that has run into my cuticle area just because of your thumb doesn't sit the way that your other four fingers do. <laughs> so that is just my little trick to prevent any extra running. Also doing thinner coats is going to help with that also. So now I'm just going in with that afternoon color on my thumb. And like I said, I'm going to put just my thumb in for about 15 seconds and then I will finish curing my whole hand. But I will let you guys watch. I'm going to cure for 30 seconds the gel colors each layer. Um, and then you guys can watch a little bit of my second coat and I'll be right back. Alright, so I am in the middle of my second layer. I just wanted to let you guys know if you are doing thin coats of the gel color, you can actually go in and do a third layer if you wanted to. I was happy with the way it turned out in just the two coats. Um, I'm getting ready to do the lighter gray on my index finger and you will see after that after applying the second coat, it applied nice and even. You couldn't see any of those sheer spots or the streaks or anything like that. It evened out really, really beautifully. I love these colors. And these gels, I can't wait to use more of them. There are so many colors, so I can definitely use them for not only doing full gel manis, but you can also use gel polishes for nail art as well which I've actually been enjoying using gel polishes as opposed to the acrylic paints lately, just because you can kind of cure as you go when you're doing nail art. 
but I'm gonna finish up my index finger. I'm gonna pop it in my lamp, give it a quick flash cure, and then I'm going to finish off my thumb, and then I will be back for top coat. So keep on watching and I'll be right back. All right, so my gel colors are all done. I'm gonna go in with the gel top coat. The model ones, the base and the gel top coat, they are a thinner consistency. So you do wanna make sure that you're not getting too, too much on your brush just because thinner liquids tend to run a little bit more as well. Um, but once you get the hang of the thinner liquids, they are really easy to apply. I like the thinner liquids because they self level better in my opinion, just because thicker liquids obviously aren't going to move around as good. Um, so my preference, I like the thinner liquids. This gel top coat was so shiny and I wore this Manny for like four or five days and the top coat did not dull. It did not yellow on me. Um, I will have to try it out over white. I'm not sure if it's a different formula at all. If you guys have been following me for a while, then you know that Model 1's, the gel top coat, I actually used that one in a lot of my videos. It was one of my favorite gel top coats. Um, but this is a different bottle than the ones that I have, so I'm not sure if this is a newer formula or if it's just a newer bottle. So. I'm definitely gonna use this gel top coat again in some future videos and test it out over some other colors. And I will let you guys know how it works. But I definitely, definitely recommend if you are wanting to get into gel polishes, definitely get one of these sets on their website. They have multiple different color sets so you don't have to necessarily get this one. They all come with the base and the top coat and just the packaging alone is really cool. I really love the box that it came in. It's actually up on my nail shelf right now. <laughs> I don't know, I just thought it was really cool. So on their website, these are $49.99 and they're on sale for $35.99. So definitely check them out. I will have links and all that good stuff down below for you guys. I'm gonna let you watch me finish up the top coat. Like I said, doing it the way I did the base and the gel color after this now, I'm gonna give it a flash cure and then move on to my thumb. So I will let you guys watch and I'll be right back.
so I went ahead and cured that for 60 seconds and now my nails are all done and cured I love these colors so so much so I'm just finishing off my mani like I do all of my manis with my candy skincare cuticle oil I will leave a link and discount down below for them as well just gonna get that massaged in here and you guys are gonna have to let me know what you think of this mani let me know if you want to see more gel polish manis so let me know all your thoughts I love these colors I cannot wait to use them for nail art for the holidays they're just so good they applied so beautifully I love them so much so I hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks so much for watching and I will catch you all in my next one bye guys